So my name is Stacy Martin, Bay Fiaboa. I was born and raised here in Canada and my family's from the Caribbean, from St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm a fashion designer. I started my career though first as a performing artist, so a professional performing artist. I used to dance on Broadway. I did films, television commercials and movies and I did that for years. That was the only job that I knew and that I had. Um, and from performing, I always saw people suffering for fashion, wanting to be wearing clothes that are fashionable but still comfortable and started, started designing my own line. So now I'm a fashion designer. I make clothes that are all comfortable but fashionable at the same time. So the idea of the brand came about just because I wanted to be able to blend fashion and fitness. I feel like, or fitness clothing, I should say. Um, there's always been fashion clothing and fashion clothing is not comfortable generally and fitness clothing looks sloppy or it looks not pulled together. I wanted to be able to put those two things together so that you can look fashionable and be comfortable at the same time. And this storefront came about because actually I was looking for a studio space, a space that I can have um, just place to put all my stuff, mannequins and inventory and all that sort of stuff. And I saw this store space and I thought it's great because it's downtown Ottawa, it's well lit, it has a great appeal and it can be a storefront as well as a working studio. I get motivated by the people that surround me. I'm motivated by when I see women and knowing that they can look amazing in their body types, no matter what their type is, no matter what their age is or their race is, people feel like people can always look their very best and I think sometimes people don't give themselves that courage to be able to kind of go outside the box and look their best. So that's kind of what inspires me and I'm always inspired by the islands, by the island mentality, the feeling of everything's not that serious, to just be a little bit more laid back, to take things one step at a time, to enjoy every moment, to enjoy your experiences and to enjoy your moment that you're like that you're living right at that very moment in time. I think when I first started, I just thought that you can just work really hard and the harder that you work, then you can be successful. And it's not only that. There's a lot of challenges that happen with being a female as well as being a black female. Um, there's a, st a statistic that says that only 0.5% of black female entrepreneurs ever get funded um, for when you're trying to get funding for capital. And it's, it's a real thing. So it's not really just about working harder and kind of plummeting through, but also having the right strategy, making the right connections, meeting the right people to be able to get where you want to get to. You have to love it more than anything else. You have to have passion beyond measure. You have to be doing it because it's something that you personally love to do, not something that somebody just thinks that you're good at. Um, you also have to have really thick skin because what I think is beautiful, what you might think is beautiful are two completely different things, but the market is huge and you can find someone who will love your thing. And you also have to be specific and know that it's not really only just about what you love to create because you just think it's really beautiful and that you wanna create it. You have to look specifically at what are the numbers? How is this really gonna sell? Who are you selling it to? And how are you gonna actually make this a business and not just a hobby? There are many challenges to face with being a black female entrepreneur. Um, just from the fact that people look at me and don't think that I run the business. They don't necessarily take me seriously. It's something that I've had to challenge. It was a challenge I've had my entire life in business. People don't look at a black business owner and think that she's the one that owns it. So that's a huge challenge. It's also challenging because I'm only ever, generally only ever work with men. So there's a, a feeling that you have to have a bit of strength with what you're doing, but also I think there's a compassion that a woman brings to the table that can kind of help ease that way. Um, but black people just don't have as much opportunity. And I feel like now is the time that we actually build to be able to change that. We have the opportunity right now to show that black people do have the opportunity to do great things and we just need to be supported and recognized. I have a vision. I know exactly what I wanna do. I'm not exactly saying everything that it is right now, but I think my thing is about not stopping what you actually wanna do and to know that there's no limit on what you're able to do and capable of doing. My business has been great up to this. I've been doing it for 15 years and it's been amazing, but now I'm ready to take it to new levels and I'm ready to make it the best it can possibly be.